Hey guys, it's Morgan from Highland Cycles coming to you with a real short video talking about needle position in your carburetor. Now I know a lot of you probably know everything you need to know, but for those of you out there who are new maybe to dirt bikes, new to jetting, new to carburetors, all that stuff, here's a short video for you. Now yes, most bikes now it seems like are fuel injected, but if you're like me and you don't have piles of money and you have kids that ride little bikes like that, you're gonna have to fiddle with a carburetor every now and then. So, also, I think carburetors are awesome. Just so everybody knows, I like carburation. So here we go, super duper short. Uh, when people are talking about needle position, first of all, they're talking about that little needle, right? So it's a needle inside the carburetor, Let's see if we can get a, there we go. This controls, I would say it has the most effect from about, oh, quarter throttle to three quarters throttle. The deal is that every part of the carburetor affects every other part of the carburetor. The pilot circuit has a little bit to do with the main jet circuit. The needle has to do with all of it. So, but this has the most effect from about quarter to three quarters throttle. I consider it throttle response, right? I want to talk about what the numbers mean because people on all over the internet, you know, they put their jetting specs up and they're like, uh, the something, something, something needle and the number two, the blah, blah, blah needle and the number three, the JD red needle and the number four. So here's the deal. What that means is on a needle, an adjustable needle like this. Let's see if I can get that in. If you look really closely, there's little slots. There's a clip there. Now, when you are talking about needle position, you want to talk about from the top down. So the top slot is number one, the bottom slot on this one is number five, and that is how it's always referred to. So when you see a jetting spec online and they say the number two position, you count from the top, one, two, okay? Now when they talk about leaning out the needle, that means you're dropping the needle down, which means you need to raise the clip. That's what they mean. Here's another little thing I wanna show you. The best way to change these needle positions is over something safe. When you're changing the needle clip position, you wanna do it over something that's gonna catch this clip. Because these little E-clips or sir clips, whatever you wanna call them, really like to fire off and go away. Um, I have a story of this. A friend of mine was changing this in Texas in the grass, lost the clip, and almost had to not do the race at all because he couldn't find the clip. And it's a vital, important part of the carburetor. Uh, fortunately, he was able to find someone who had a clip and gave it to him. That was the only reason he got to race. So what I do is I take my fingernails, my thumbnails, like I said, get it close down over here, kind of peel it off. That one didn't fire around. Well, that's what it looks like. So that was in the number one position. This is on my son's KX65. We're going to Oklahoma, so I want to richen it up. So I'm going to drop the clip down, which is effectively raising the needle and richening up um, that circuit. I'm going to lower the clip. I'm going to go into the number one, two, three, fourth position. I know that that's where I want to be because We've been there before. Let me push that on. There we go. Now we're in the number four. Hope that helps you guys out. I hope it makes sense. Um, other needles have more positions. They'll have a seven or five. They're always going to have an odd number so that they have an actual middle position. If it didn't have an odd number, you know, obviously that wouldn't work out. So there we go. Hope you guys like that super short video. Hope it helps you get your bikes jetted right, and I really hope it gets you out riding your dirt bikes!